Building Sustainable Villages. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 180. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 180, September 4th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the beliefs lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of beliefs is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the personal growth lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the honesty and integrity lesson plan, bringing that to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team added additional images, references, and resources to the behind the scenes version of the Transition Kitchen. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team continued updating the formatting of the upcoming Seven Villages online book pages. This week's work focused on new introduction pages and new images for the Strawbale Village. We also created three new Earthbag Village icons shown here and integrated these into the pages. And we put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we completed a comprehensive review of the FFF doc on pages 88 through 150, where we made corrections related to measurements and proofreading grammar and sentence structure. We also added a 6D galvanized finished nail photo and replaced all 16D finished nails throughout the document with 6D galvanized finished nails. We'd say we are now 97% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 34 of his work that focused on shadows, additional textures, and thus far unsuccessfully attempting to overcome computer crash problems during the final render process. What you see here are some successful renders and renders that froze and then crashed Dean's computer. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, continued evolving the compressed earth block village pod 4. You can see his sixth week of work here showing aligning the first and second floor, seating ideas for the dining area, more roadway and column changes, expansion of the second floor private event space, and a new design for the west recreation space. Building on Hamilton's work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his first week of 3D modeling of the compressed earth block village pod 4 for quality render creation. 
What you see here are the beginnings of the structure taking shape in 3DS Max. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the Duplical City Center 3D renders. What you see here are the updates to the dining dome, where we placed the basement retaining wall and structural columns, and created detailed measurement images for the basement staircase updates we'll be doing in AutoCAD. We also updated the transition kitchen designs in SketchUp, replacing a double compartment sink with a three compartment sink, and adding a dish drying shelving unit and a sink for pots and pans. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, also continued with her 14th week of work on the lighting zones. This week's progress continued with final revisions and defining of the zones as shown here. We'd say we are now 95% complete with this component of the city center. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunan Lee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued work on the structural details for the city center. This week's focus was continued evolution of the structural column and beam placements, discussing structural walls, and how to better design the geometry of the dome. Neha Verma, Construction Project Manager and Bachelors of Architecture, also continued developing the City Center project brief that will update the City Center plans page when complete. This week's focus was beginning the chart seen here, exploring the features of each dome. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed her eighth week of work developing the new website structure, adding more formatting updates and continuing to test different layouts for the responsive screen size changes and how to integrate our logo into the different layouts. A big part of what one community is creating is open source blueprints for building sustainable villages. We see building sustainable villages as a path to a sustainable planet by creating a stepping stone to creating completely sustainable civilization. This doesn't mean that everybody wants to build sustainable villages or that everybody wants to live in sustainable villages, but we believe that by creating comprehensive sustainable models, an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations of sustainability with the emotional foundations of sustainability, physical foundations being food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations that we've identified being highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as a comprehensive model and building teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Building these sustainable villages to demonstrate a way of life that we think that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now. Our goal is to build one community as the first of these teacher demonstration hubs, to invite people to experience what it is that we're doing, and if people like what they see, if people like what they experience, if people want to replicate it for themselves, either in part as little individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, then we are here to provide the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions specifically to accomplish that. And to work in collaboration and cooperation with all others that believe that building sustainable villages is a good idea too. Through doing this, we hope to demonstrate a way of life that is considered to be better than the way that people live right now, make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate that level of attractiveness so that the idea will spread on its own. Spreading teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs around the world into the places where it's needed most, teaching people how to replicate them. And so we create these solution models that, create that can create additional solution-creating models to transform our planet for the first time in human history to a world that truly works for everybody. We see this as simultaneously addressing all the challenges of our generation and generations to come. The foundations of social injustice, crime, food, uh, hunger, starvation, homelessness, a lack of energy infrastructure, lack of waste project processing infrastructure, education, all of these things because we see them as not only interrelated, but is interdependent. And so our comprehensive model is addressing all of them. 
and it's designed so that people that want to use any component or aspect of it can do that. They can take it and replicate it, replicate it in the way that works best for them, improve it, evolve it, make it better, and we're letting human ingenuity do the rest. So to accomplish this huge goal of creating a planet that works for everybody and building self-replicating teacher demonstration villages, sustainable villages, self-sufficient villages, and teacher demonstration hubs, we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's not only possible, but believe that we are the change we want to see in the world and that the time is now. The technology already exists, and so all it requires is participation. And so we're clearing away the barriers to the participation, we're making it as easy as possible, and inviting everybody to participate that wants to be a part of this. So if that's you, if this sounds interesting to you, this sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if it's something you'd like to be a part of, get involved with our organization. You know, we have lots of different ways to join, ranging from the pioneer team that will move to the property and build one community, to volunteers working and uh, helping behind the scenes, just volunteering their time, to just sharing our information on social media. We have to get the word out. And so sharing our information on social media is the easiest way. If you like the idea of building sustainable villages and want to see this idea spread across the world, help us share our information on social media. Help us get the word out. We're on all the different social media networks to make this easy as possible. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. We are on Tumblr. We are on Pinterest and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible because we want to get the open source and the free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions in the hands of as many, as, po as many people as possible and invite people to help get this stuff done faster. To create it open source so that anybody can use it, adapt it, modify it the way that they want, but to get the blueprints done and build one community so people have a place to visit and experience everything that we're creating. Everything that is detailed down to the smallest elements on our website and so much more that we're still developing. This is what one community is doing. Of course, a lot of people say, well, what's the biggest thing that would help us right now? Well, we're still seeking large scale funding. So if you or somebody you know has access to the funds or would be interested in either donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to investing in one community, we'd love to speak with you. You know, we're looking for that large scale funding to take the property that we've been focused on and working around now for the last five years and get it under the ownership of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization so we can take our open source blueprints and resources and everything that we're developing to that next level of development that requires a site survey and owning that property. In the meantime, we are, of course, focusing on becoming shovel ready. You know, we're focusing our energy and time on everything that's necessary to be able to be ready to build once we have that property uh, under our ownership and to be able to create one community as a place that people can visit, starting really within the first few weeks of construction so people can come out, volunteer on the property, be a part of creating history, a part of this legacy that is creating a sustainable world for everybody. So... If you, too, in, uh, possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, if you, too, see a world that works for everybody as a goal that is worth working towards, we, of course, invite you to get involved. And uh, if you're just following our progress because it seems interesting, we're thank you, thankful for that, too. Of course, we're thankful for all the small donations that we get that help us cover our operating expenses. Nobody at One Community is paid. We are all unpaid volunteers. So every dollar that's donated helps to go to our web expenses and everything related to our open source goals and mission. And it doesn't go to paychecks. You know, we're all volunteers and uh, doing this because we believe in a world that works for everybody. We want to live this way. We want to create this as something that we can be a part of and that we're, and we're excited that we're already a part of, but we want to really create the physical manifestation as one community. So as always, thanks for following our progress. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the emails. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the shares. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Uh, also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list so you can see all the little details of how we're building sustainable villages and designing all this stuff uh, on a weekly basis. We'll send you an update. So thanks, as always, for following our progress. And, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.